Hey guys, welcome to the show. So on today's show, we're doing one of the things that we've been trying to do for a long time. This is actually Fernando's car. This is his G35, and we're building the, the platform for the new test system that's gonna be high level. So one of the things we're gonna need in order to test the system is a good pair of speakers. You name it, we wanna test it. So what we're doing in this portion is we're getting the speakers ready because he still has the original crappy speakers. Ooh. Now thanks to my guy Artie at Amp of America, which if you guys haven't seen it, we do we do a whole show with him on Car Audio Talk. That's that Facebook Live show we do. He hooked us up with a set of the Phoenix Gold TIs. So Fernando's gonna go ahead and get those put in his car. Now we're gonna go ahead and road kill the doors. We're gonna put in some fast rings and do all that cool stuff. We wanna make sure these things sound the best that they possibly can. And that's what it takes to do it. So how this is starting, of course, is putting in the speakers. Now Pac makes cool adapters, which are these guys right here, which is the BK NSB 710s. That's these guys right here. Now when you compare them to the factory speakers, they line right up. These are pretty nice. Thankfully, manufacturers are getting on board and making more and more of these ready available for us, which is great. Now this is the cool TI mid base. It's got a nice sized magnet on it, inverted dust cap, double surround. We don't do a whole lot of the Phoenix Gold, but I knew these speakers would be great for what we're trying to do. They're mildly priced, they're high performance. At the end of the day, isn't that the most important thing? Yeah. And they were priced right for us, right? There you go. Now, step number two is we're gonna pull the radio out and we're gonna put a T-harness behind it so that we can run the speaker wires coming from the radio back in the back, which will be our high level input, and then forward back into the speakers as a normal high level to low level system would be. We're not gonna be using really big amplifiers in this. This is more to test the DSPs because most of the DSPs nowadays are gonna be high level input because that's, no one wants to change the radio. And his dash looking the way it is, which is basically the kits they make for this suck unless you get the JDM. This would be the perfect car to do it on. Now we're also going to be running a four gauge into a distribution block so that we can just, we'll make a panel where all this stuff is going to be accessible. So it's going to be like a lab. That's the plan. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the easiest way to think of it. Now, Fernando's having a fun time working on his car. Let's get back to it. I don't know why Nissan's and the Infinities, like Nissan 350Z and the G35s always, always the doors. You see, they never stay open. I don't know why, I know why, but you know why. So for the G35, of course, it's two 10 millimeters behind the handle. One behind the other handle. That's two clips in front. going to use roll kill. Now for the tweeters in this, they're up here in the sail fin. This guy right here, as you can see that hole. Now the way these TI tweeters work is that there's a screw that holds them in the back. You unscrew it and then it comes right out. Here's the screw. Now conveniently enough, this bracket right here, the factory tweeter screws onto the back of this bracket. So all we have to do 
Let's screw our tweeter into the bracket. And then what we'll do is just like the fast drinks for the door, is we take some tall foam and we're gonna put it around the tweeter so that when we push that tweeter into that sail fin, it makes sure all that dynamic energy powers through that hole. Pretty cool, right? Who would have thought? It's just a tweeter. But a tweeter will, will blow sound everywhere just like a mid-range will. You might wanna think about putting foam there as well. Right, Fernando? Right. So we're just wrapping up on the driver's side door here. Let's take a look at what we did. So we went ahead and road killed all along here and of course behind the inside of the door. We have the fast rings on, speakers mounted in place. And over here you see this guy, this big plug right here. We went ahead and added that. And let me show you why. So as you can see, he has a nice sealed door panel there. There's no chance to get water between so the outside of the metal and the actual door panel itself. One of the main problems I have with mounting crossovers and doors is that they get wet. It's not gonna happen in this car. We can mount the crossover in the door panel. And here's what we've done. So this is the other end to that wire. It's a six channel plug. And the reason why is because over here, behind this panel, we made this panel here, is the crossover. So these come with this huge crossover here. And what we've done is we've mounted it backwards like this out of this ABS panel that is then screwed in. The wires go along the groove in the door and come out here. We've also gone ahead and used the Stinger Ultimate Mat all in this area right here to deaden the door. The fast rings will go ahead and marriage up to this. This used to have a one inch piece around it. We went ahead and trimmed this down flat so it'll be a nice flat mount for the fast ring. Now by using that six channel connector, what that's allowed us to do is anytime he needs to service this or take the door panel off for whatever reason, it simply just unplugs. Most of the time when people put the crossovers in the door, and they're gonna mount them into the door panel where there's room to do it, they don't think of that, and then they, it's a mess. That's why we do it this way, a little bit cleaner. And honestly, if someone were to go in there and take the door panel off, they're just gonna see the harness, which is up here by the switches, right here. Now the factory harness runs all along here, so there's a bunch of switches right here anyways. So they'll just think it's part of the regular system, and we won't have to worry about anybody mucking up the door. That's if it is somebody other than Fernando who knows what his door panel looks like, but if it was, let's say, your G35, and you took it in because, let's say, your window stopped rolling up or down, that kind of stuff happens, this, we won't have to worry about it. Fernando's gonna go ahead and get this door panel on. He's starting on the passenger side. You guys already know what it's like, so we don't need to show you that. Let's head on to part two.